Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a new flavor for the Keto Mason Jar ice cream that I came up with. <laughs> I was doing all my ice cream flavors last night. I just kinda wanted to stack up. Um, I did two butter almonds. I did two coffee flavors. I did one peanut butter fudge. And I did the one that I'm gonna do today, which is your berries and banana ice cream. <laughs> and I know bananas are not keto friendly, so you're probably thinking, what, bananas are not keto friendly? We're not actually gonna use bananas, we're gonna use the banana extract, um, which is keto friendly, and it's used to replace bananas in a lot of keto um, recipes. So we're gonna use that, so you're gonna get your flavor of banana, but you're not gonna get all those carbs and bad things that you do with regular bananas, which I hate because I really, really love bananas. They're my favorite fruit. And so that was the one of the hardest things that I had to give up with bananas because I usually make a amazing banana bread and I used to put bananas in my smoothies and they were healthy smoothies but bananas was in there and so it was really hard um, but I did it because I was determined to do the keto diet so it all worked out in the end every now and then I still think about bananas but it's not really the hardest thing the hardest thing which I thought would be um, so yeah so I found a way to have that banana flavor but not actually use the banana and of course berries is on the keto friendly diet that's probably the only fruit you can eat anything that's berries strawberries blackberries blueberries cranberries um, anything in the berry family so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> so I'm constantly thinking of different flavors and as I create them in my mind or find them I will share them with you today is gonna be that one I already shared the butter almond the butter pecan and the coffee one with you so I hope you're enjoying those but today we're gonna get this one I call it the berries and banana ice cream maybe I'll come up with a, a more professional creative name but that's all I could come up right now so yesterday I went grocery shopping and I stacked up and I got this is one of my favorite berry bags I used to do this when I did my regular healthy smoothies so it's blueberries and blackberries and strawberries in this package so you see it right there um, I found these at grocery outlet so if you have a grocery outlet in your town you can get it and it's cheaper than any other store that I found a Walmart bag usually is almost ten dollars this is $3.99 for this bag and I just opened it last night because I did one last night so it's about a tall let me see if I can show you it's about this big of a bag and it's really thick so it should last you a good while um, the other thing that I'm going to be using, like I said, is the pure banana extract. I found this on Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Um, anywhere in the stores. Um, the only place I hadn't checked was our health food store. Probably would have been there. But I was on Amazon, so I thought, oh, let me order it. So I did. So it's the pure banana extract. It's by Olive Nation, I guess that's the brand. I can't remember. I want to say it's $9.99, but don't quote me on that. I'll put in the description bar the actual price to this on Amazon. It's one of their... God, my nose is itchy. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, it's one of their bigger. They have like two or three sizes. I got the biggest one. So it should last me a while. And then of course, we're going to use our heavy whipping cream, which is the main ingredient for healthy keto mason jar ice cream so it's our heavy whipping cream and sugar of course and you want to use your healthy keto friendly sugar in my case there's so many there's monk fruit oh my god there's so many the list goes on you pick the one you like the best it's trial and error so try different ones see which one you like the best this is the one that i've been using pretty much from the beginning i also use the stevia packets which I use for like teas and stuff like that also trivia is not too bad um, but that would probably be the third on my list um, but no this is my favorite and the one I've been using for a good while since I've been on the keto diet I me and my daughter have been debating how you pronounce this word it's p-y-u-r-e I don't know if it's sure or pure <laughs> it seems like it wants to sound like sure i don't know i'll figure it out and let you know in the next video but it's an organic stevia blend granite granular all-purpose sweetener so very keto friendly very healthy and that's pretty much all you need so i use my ninja my ninja comes with this big one and i used to do my smoothies in this big one um but i don't this is the one i use now you've seen this in my other keto mason jar ice creams so we're gonna put one cup <coughs> of Sorry, either my nose is itching or my voice is like going crazy. So this is my measuring cup. It's one cup. So we put one cup of 
the heavy whipping cream fill it up to the brim make sure so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me down here so I'm gonna lift it up Let's pour it in there and then I kind of get a spoon and get the rest of it out why waste any product my sister-in-law said but she's so great my sister-in-law Audrey she said why don't you get like one of those baking spatulas it's easy, it's kind of bendable and flexible, and it's easy to get the extras out of that. So see, probably with one of those, I could have got the rest of this, but it's no biggie. But I'm definitely gonna get one because I need it for a lot of other things too. I used to have one and the thing came apart and I just haven't had a chance, and every time I go to the store, I forget to do it. So I'm definitely gonna get that, Audrey. Thank you very much <laughs> for that idea because it's great, and a lot of other keto people have those and they really use them a lot. So, so far we got one cup of the heavy whipping cream. Then we're gonna put one cup of the berries, the mixed berry blend. I call it the berry blend. I even think that's how you say it. It's called three berry blend. There's the official thing. Three berry blend. And this is by Summer's Peak, I think it says. So we're gonna fill that cup up. I'm gonna have to do it down here and then I'll show you how it looks filled up. So it's a little bit over, but that's okay. That's what I'm saying, it's hard to pour out of there. I can actually take the cup and go inside the bag, but that's kind of hard too, because it's a big one cup. So you might not need these extra strawberries, but hey, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> um, but just as long as it's one cup. So we're gonna pour it into our blending thing. They kind of stick to the thing, so you have to make sure you get every bit out. Then we're gonna do one teaspoon of the banana extract. And I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit down once I get all the ingredients in there so you can exactly see. So this is one teaspoon. You might can actually put a little bit more, but that's what I start out with. I didn't wanna put this amount in it, even though I probably could have. Um, but yeah. I'll try a little bit more this time. Last night I just made it with one and I could taste the banana, but I could see it could use a little bit more. So we'll do that. So one to two of those, one to two teaspoons, depending on how much banana flavor you like to taste. Um, so last night I did it with one and it was fine. I could totally taste the banana. Today I did it with two it's teaspoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons just to see how that come out. Maybe if I could get a little bit more banana flavor. And then last but not least is the sugar. So you're gonna do one tablespoon of your sweetener. So it's that much. Put it in there and that's it as far as ingredients. Then you put your top on it and I'm going to bring thing down maybe a little bit. So you might can see most of me, kind of my head is cut off, but I'm there because I was trying to help you see the bottom <laughs> with all my mix and stuff, but it's not working. So I'm gonna put it in. I might shut off the camera just so you don't have to hear that noise. I put it in for 30 minutes on medium. 30 minutes, my Lord, no, 30 seconds on medium. So we're gonna start. <laughs> I was thinking of my ice keto um, coffee. Actually, for this one, I set mine's on the puree section. It has an automatically timer of 35 seconds. So for my ice keto coffee, yes, it's on medium for 30 seconds. On this one, I find that if I put it on the puree setting and it automatically has that 35 seconds, it works perfect for my keto mason jar ice cream. So that's what we're gonna actually do. <laughs> Okay, it's done. I wanted to show you that. I know it was a little bit noisy, sorry about that, but I wanted to show you um, how the puree setting works. It counts down. It's 35 second automatic timer. It counts down. Where when I do my ice keto um, coffee, I just put it on medium and I have to watch it go up, not count down, but go up to 30 seconds and then I stop it. So we got it done. This is what it looks like. I turn it around. I give it a top to kind of 
get it to the bottom. Of course, I have my mason jar ready to go. Then I need my big spoon because I need it to go long. So I usually use my long big spoon because I got to really reach in there and get it. I tried a smaller spoon like this one and it was so hard to get in there. So it all depends on your blender on what you use. So I get the extras off of this. We waste nothing around here. It doesn't have much. So whatever I can get looks like that. So we're going to pour it into our jar. Let me bring it down. Okay, you won't see me too much, and that's fine, but you'll see me pouring it into the mason jar. It's a good blend. I love that puree setting and that it has an automatic timer. In 35 seconds, it's just perfect. For, so if you have, to have a ninja, that's what works best for me, but it's all on how you like it. If you need more timing, if you need it to be more whipped, more blended, you can do your thing by setting your own timer your own setting it just works perfect for me i kind of scrape where i can oh, just sprayed it in my face a little bit so we'll see what the difference is with so it looks like that see it almost fills up the jar so i'm going to taste it Oh, it's really good. So one or two. I could actually be fine with one um, teaspoon of banana extract. Or if I'm feeling a little extra banana-ish, I could use two. So now I know that both works. Mmm. My God, it is so good. Oh, my God, this is really good. I totally recommend you to try it. It doesn't have to be exactly these berries. I think this is the best choice. But... If you don't have a grocery outlet in your town, or if you can't find these particular three berries um, blended together, um, then you could just use um, strawberry, or you can use just the blueberries or cranberries or whatever. It won't be this exact one because this is going to be called a berry blend. <laughs> um, well, well, like I say, that banana banana extract to give that banana flavor. Um, but you can create your own stuff. You can add or take away from what I did here as far as the fruit. Like I said, if you don't really like blueberries or blackberries, but you love strawberries, you can make it your own. Just do a strawberry, um, buy a package with just strawberries in it, frozen strawberries, and then add your banana extract and all of the rest of the regular ingredients like your heavy whipping cream and your sweetener, and you'll be good to go. It'll be your strawberry blend. Um, but if you like all the berries, this is a good choice because it has three of the berries. Um, so that's the one I would recommend, but you can make it your own. So I'm just giving you an idea of what a berry blend would be like. So that's what it looks like. That's the inside of it. So I just put my jar on top and then we put it in the freezer. So this is my freezer. Oh my God, we went grocery shopping last night, like huge grocery shopping, and my freezer is stacked. Um, so I didn't have much space for my ice cream, so I did stack up. I made two coffee flavors, and I'm using these. I bought these keto ice creams from Rayleigh's, and when they're emptied, I clean them out, and I could use these if I run out of mason jars. Um, that's what I should have got yesterday, some more mason jars, because I really prefer the mason jars but I thought these were really cute I just washed them and use them and it actually has the name of the flavor of the ice cream not the name of the brand because I'm making my own at home but it has the name of the flavor that I'm doing so it works out perfect since I didn't have enough mason keto jars and I already tried it once so I know it does work in these so it's already been tested and tried and it works out perfect if you want to use these as well so if you buy your keto ice cream from Rayleigh's or wherever you can find it from and you're empty it out you can wash these rinse it um, after a while of course it'll wear down and you can't use it too many times but you'll get a few uses out of it at least I'll let you know how long it lasted for me but I do plan to get more mason jars so I did two coffee ones this is my peanut um, peanut fudge so it has cocoa cocoa however you want to call it with peanut butter pieces um, this is the berry blend that I did last night but it, has, it doesn't have the right name of the flavor. So this says peanut butter fudge. 
um, but it's actually the berry blend that I just did in here. This is actually the peanut butter fudge. I want to say fudge. What is wrong with me? And these are the butter almonds. So I did two butter almonds, two coffee, one peanut butter fudge, and one berry blend. And now I'm going to add the other berry blend if I can find some space. So I'm going to actually put it in this corner. That's the only space I see. So I want it to stack up because one thing that I found with any diet and the keto diet is you need to be prepared. If you're a person that gets tempted with sweet stuffs or desserts, you want to have keto friendly desserts on hand. So when you get that craving, you're not tempted to get a regular dessert because you have that sweet tooth and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna sacrifice it. So the less you have to sacrifice, the better. So I usually make one of each, but last night I said, nope, I bought all these groceries, I'm gonna make uh, two of each of them, so I have a lot on hand. So I probably won't have to do another one probably to next week sometime, we'll see. I'll let you know how long it took me to go through these. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got, I'm stacked up. Two berry blend, two coffee, two butter almonds, and one peanut butter fudge. I might make another peanut butter fudge, or if I come up with another creation, another flavor creation, I'll do that, and I'll let you know what I came up with, and I'll share that recipe with you. So that's it for this video. That is my berry blend um, with banana flavoring. I don't know. i got to find a word that will have the berry blend name, but that will also be known that there is banana flavor in it. If you can come up with something for me, put it in the comments. If not, I'll come up with something and let you know what I came up with. But for right now, I'm just going to say berry blend. That's my berry blend. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Try it out. Let me know what you think or enjoy it if you don't want to comment. But you enjoyed it. I hope you do because it's really, really delicious. Um, when I go to eat one, maybe I'll do an add, I'll add a clip when I go to eat my berry blend sometime tonight or tomorrow. Maybe I'll add a clip in if I don't put this video up first and I still am in the editing process. I'll let you know how I taste it, but I tasted it by making it. The only difference is it will be frozen. Um, so it'll be the same and it'll be fine. But um, like I said, if I'm still in the editing process, I'll let you know actually eating it frozen what I think. But if not, you know that it's delicious. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I do hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, like I said, um, try it. You're going to love it. But if you want to make it your own, adapt a thing or two here. Like I said, um, maybe you don't want that banana flavor. Maybe you want a almond extract. You can use an almond extract, you can use vanilla extract, whatever extract flavor that you want to add. There's an orange extract that I just saw last night when we went grocery shopping um, and I that I did buy. I found it in um, Grocery Outlet. So if you, there, you don't like the bananas or the banana flavor, or if you don't want to use the banana extract, you can use any of the other extracts, vanilla extract, almond extract, orange extract, or any extract that you find that you prefer of that flavor. You can adapt that and change it for what I did, banana. Um, or like I said, if you don't like blackberries and blueberries, but you love strawberries, you could just do a strawberry um, and call it a passion blend or a fruit or whatever you want to come up with you can adapt it as far as the flavors um, the same the whipping cream and the sweetener does have to stay the same but it's the flavor where you can adapt to take away or add and make it your own or you can just do mine and love it so that's it for this video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to push the notification bell which gives you heads up on every time I upload a video and we'll be coming back with a whole bunch of other videos about everything else all things Carmen I guess <laughs> um, about my journey autism like I said is coming up so we're gonna go full force with that so you're gonna hear a lot of videos about autism um, and then a whole bunch of other stuff I got planned, but definitely where I'm going to be bringing you all the keto, um, stuff that, um, I'm doing and enjoying in my whole keto journey. I'm going to share all of that with you. So definitely look forward to a lot of keto stuff. Um, but yeah, so I hope again that you enjoyed this recipe and you try it out, or like I said, make it your own and that's it for today. So thank you so much for watching into my next video. Take care.